What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video, we are jumping into Daredevil issue number 12. Now when it comes to Matt Murdock, he has been through a lot lately. He was finally able to destroy that talisman, what they believed was the key to defeating the ninja cult. But with the storm winds bombing the Fist Island, the Avengers capturing Elektra and the former criminals, we saw the collapse of the Fist. But Daredevil's work was not finished. After infiltrating the Stormwind's office, violently coercing them into releasing Elektra and the captured prisoners, there is still the matter of the souls of his friends, his allies, and world leaders lost to the hand. And so Daredevil, he is about to travel to the realm of the beast. Make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, Let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, what we are seeing is all the criminals, they are being released. They are finally free. Their records have been cleaned. And they are going off into the world to do what it is they would like to do. But this is what picks us up with Blindspot. Blindspot sitting at the mouth of a cave. Now when Matt was reading the Book of the Fist, it had one more secret for him. A secret that broke his heart. And sometimes the best of them. The brightest stars, they suffer the worst. But as Matt approaches Blindspot, Blindspot wastes no time going in, believing that this is the beast. Blindspot had got entangled with the hand, with the beast. And while Daredevil tries to say that this is really him, that he's not alone anymore, we see Blindspot finally recognize that this is in fact Matt Murdock. The two of them sitting down, Blindspot goes on to say that when they had killed the beast, it died here on Earth, but it still lived on in Hell. It started coming to him in his nightmares, demanding to repay a debt. It had almost drove Blindspot mad, but that's when he was approached by Stick. And so Blindspot was sent to Japan. He was sent here to guard the Siege Infernal. This is how the beast leaves Hell. And in those brief moments when he is coming through, blinded by the world, that is the best opportunity to kill him. But Daredevil is letting him know that I am here to relieve you of your burden. Daredevil knows he is at the end of the prophecy. Everything that he does from here on out is unknown. But one thing he does know is that Sam has given too much. He tells Blindspot to go back home, to go to New York, go to your sister. And when the beast is dead, Daredevil will join him. And hesitant to do this, we see Blindspot pack up his stuff and he heads off. And now it is just Daredevil and his plan. The souls of Foggy and the world leaders are trapped in hell with the beast. And Daredevil needs to be the one to save them. The danger of being the guard of this place is that it is a vortex. If you die near it, no matter how you lived your life, your soul will be pulled into hell to the beast realm as he pulls out his sword and prepares to end his own life. This is where we have the arrival of Elektra. She is here to let Matt know that there has gotta be another way. But according to the book, this is the only way. And Daredevil had his doubts about these prophecies. When the Fist compound was attacked, when Foggy was learned to just be nothing more than a trick, he doubted that God was a living God, that he had given him this path. But he is here now. He is recognizing that this is all supposed to happen. After prison, after Goldie, after the dueling prophecies, going to hell for God is the logical end. And while Elektra tries to plead with him, tries to let him know that there's, there's gotta be another way, we have to be able to find another option. Daredevil says that we tried. We tried and we failed. If we want to stop the hand, this is the only way to do it. The beast is their reason for existing. As the two of them embrace, Daredevil gives her one last kiss. He whispers I'm sorry into her ear. And then he makes a break for his sword. Elektra stopping him. Tackling him to the ground because she didn't track him down across the world to watch him die to bring him home in a body bag And so the two of them begin to fight one last dance king and queen Husband and wife the two of them know each other's moves so well a beautiful dance of violence And that's when Electra goes to try and tie up Matt, but this is where Matt he manipulates the ropes He moves them in just the right manner 
to where Electra's sigh goes into his stomach, piercing right through some vital organs. We see Daredevil drop down. He lets her know that it is okay, that this is what is supposed to happen, that he can see it so clearly. He is going to get foggy. He is going to go get his best friend. And this is where we get the beautiful imagery of Electra holding Daredevil as he dies. Tears running down her face. She tells her beloved to go fight the devil. This is where Matt wakes up in a ring. He wakes up to his father. His father helping him up to his feet. He lets him know that there is a big fight ahead of him. Not really understanding why his father is in hell. His father can only guess that this was his final sin. The sin of pride. Unwilling to let his son see him take the fall. Daredevil doesn't know what he's walking into. He had gone to hell years ago. But back then it was Mephisto's hell. This is different. This is the beast realm. Where the hand begins and the hand ends. And if it is going to end, Daredevil will be the hand of God. As Daredevil's uniform is burned off, we see the white suit of God. The white suit of Daredevil. And he has come to end the devil's life. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Definitely a fun issue. I have been absolutely loving Daredevil. This series has just been knocking it out of the freaking park. After the confrontation or the conversation with Goldie, we see that he has, he really has some direction to go now. Believing that God is real. Having his faith renewed. Because for a moment there, Matt Murdock was questioning if this was really what he was supposed to be doing. If God was real. But after everything that he has endured, he is more certain now than ever before. God is real, and Matt Murdock is the hand of God. Having to kill himself or having Electra kill him, as foretold through the prophecy, this is exactly what was supposed to happen. And with Matt Murdock's death, he has dove into the depths of hell, into the beast realm, going to free the soul of his best friend, of all those world leaders, of everyone who has died at the hand. The fate of Matt Murdock may hang in the balance, but his battle has only just begun. An absolutely beautiful issue ending with an absolutely beautiful image of Matt Murdock wielding the white suit of Daredevil, the white suit of God, and the beast better be terrified because the wrath of God is now upon him. So let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories. If you would like to get completely caught up on everything going on with this series, check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything going on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers. From $1 to $50 from loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, you are getting tons of perks in the process. Now, if you're unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.